I was waiting for bonjourno. <laughs> oh, I can't do that again. That's... Oh, okay. So we get... Konnichiwa. Welcome back to our channel. I'm Gina. I'm Derek. And we're D&G Thrifts. D&G Thrifts. So today we are at our local Goodwill. We are haunting our haunts. Yes, we are. Yeah. Our typical Friday haunt. Yes. <laughs> and it's extremely busy. This parking lot is like packed. Well, I was saying, I think it's because it's Friday and it's also lunchtime. So like, and I was telling Gina, I remembered, <laughs> I used to do that sometimes was, uh, I would stop at the thrift store uh, during my lunchtime. <laughs> during your lunch break. That's how addicted we are to thrifting. It is. It's, <laughs> I was saying how, <laughs> I don't want to use the word pathetic, but that's, uh, that I'm like, I have to go to the thrift store. I could have missed something. And then uh, after work, then I'd stop at the thrift store on my yeah. way home. He'd always bring home a little, a little Hot Wheels for our son. Yeah. He had a huge afterwards. collection <laughs> <laughs> and other toys, you know, I'd yeah. pick him up something. So we are out. We are hunting for inventory, as usual. And if anything extremely special pops, we'll of course get it for ourselves, because that's yeah, for half the fun of thrift. That's why you thrifted in the first place, was for yourself, and then you discovered that you could thrift for others. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, and then I think, unless it's like extremely busy, um, we're gonna film a little bit inside of there. Right. Yeah, so we'll see how it goes, but. Anyway, we're hoping for a haul, and we're hoping to share a haul with you when we're done. So we'll holler back when we're done. Haul, holler. Oh, okay. Sorry, it's a stretch. <laughs> All right, so we'll see you soon. Let's look at some knickknacks. Okay. See anything? Look at the stained glass. Pretty angel. What is it? It's a melted bottle. Look at that. It's a melted, a melted bottle? Yeah, like, it's a bottle. Oh yeah, it is. It's like a squished bottle. Well, it was probably made that way. <laughs> Obviously, they didn't squish a bottle. Why not? They could have heated it up and then pushed it down and then, yeah, if you had a seven, it was 750 milliliters. Oh. Just, so was it like a spoon rest? Yeah, I guess a spoon rest. Interesting. Yeah. Someone just got a lot of heat on it. What's that owl? Uh, something we don't need. Yeah, I know. But it's an owl. I like owls. Let's yeah. see the face. Yeah. I'll set it up there so I can see it. It's not that cute. I guess not. There's a turtle right. bank. The turtle's actually cute. It's got little shells on it. has got shells on them. Little pink shells. Yeah. I like that. I don't need it, but I right. like it. How much? Uh, $1.79. Cute. Oh, Fiesta? Fiesta, Fiesta USA. <gasps> Look at the apple. There's a spoon rest. You like that? Pick it up. Look at the bottom. No, yeah. the apple. No, kind of like it. Some hummingbirds. Basket. Need a jug. Apple wine with strawberry. Alcoholic drink. Yeah, that's a good one. What do we have here? Cast iron bird. Cast iron bird. It's been painted. Let me though. feel it. Got some nice weight to it. Dollar mm -hmm. seventy nine. I like it. Do I need it? Mm, no. No. If it wasn't painted, if it was original. Yeah. If someone painted it. Yeah. What wild, did you find? Wild birds unlimited. Wild birds on. Look, let me see the top of it. <gasps> I have to get that. How much is it? It's. Well, what's well, forty? A nice tray feeder. I don't see a price on it. That'll be perfect. Let's get it anyway. 
Here, hold this. Not bad. Longa burger. Christmas collection, 87. Yeah, I don't know if those go for much. I don't think they do. Put that in my car, I got. Yeah, your 87 <laughs> Honda. Honda. I could put some bread or something in it. That? No, you not want this. That? No, I don't want this. You want that? No. I want it. Oh, a local brewery. Yeah, left hand brewery. And they have a uh, Pilsner glass. Too. Uh huh. But why wouldn't you get it? Oh, I'm not saying I'm not going to get it. Oh, but you like them. Yeah, I think I will get them. Okay. What is it? Pampered Chef USA. Muffins? Muffins. This is the Stoneware Classic Collection. $10. I don't know if this brings that's I don't think it does. I don't think it's you know, I don't think it's worth it. All right, are we done? Done at the shop. No mugs. None of my favorite mugs. All right, let me just say we found a ton of stuff. This is a full cart. You guys are in for a treat. I heard a bird. And we're back. And we're back. <laughs> we're back from thrifting. We've been back for two days from thrifting. <laughs> we have. <laughs> Woo. It was so, a long way back home. Yeah, yeah. It took us two days. <laughs> two days. <laughs> um, but really, it was a really big thrifting day. Huge thrifting day. And I think the reason is because, uh, if you remember, we were telling you how windy it was. Well, then it got... It was it. <laughs> it was, but what does that have to do with it? Well, then it got really cold, and so that's why we really haven't done anything because we've just been kind of busy keeping warm because it was in the negatives. Uh, Is that why? I thought we've just been. <laughs> well, you... I think Friday wore us out. Friday might have worn us out, <laughs> but then it got cold, and it is. It has. It's like one degree today. I yeah, think. it's it's cold. Yesterday it was negatives. It's cold. Yeah, yeah. it's just cold. Why aren't you wearing a hat? Uh, because I'm going to be showing a hat. <laughs> I have a hat, too. <laughs> hey, hats. We got yeah, hats. We Can got you believe hats. it? Uh, but so we went to... Uh, the thrift, my phone just <laughs> dinging away. It is. So we went to the thrift stores. We got... Uh, the back seat was full of stuff. We spent the most ever on clothing at the Goodwill. I think so. And it's all... From one lady, apparently. Well, no, not all. Who was like donated all her clothes. I got a nice collection of some. She got somebody. Somebody changed their whole wardrobe, <laughs> and Gina was able to get the. Uh, the but remnants. that wasn't everything. That wasn't. No, I'm sure everything was, wasn't that. No. So. And who knows yeah. what was already gone by the time you I got there? I think they just put it out. Oh, maybe that's the best thing. So when they, yeah, actually, it's on the rack, and then they're putting it out because then you know. Ooh, all right, so before we show everything, should we talk about that ridiculous item I saw? Even though we're not doing a most ridiculous item this today in this video, I just love that item. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember it? The hunter that was strung from oh, a tree yes, yes, by yes, the yes, deer. Yes. And then the the nun that the was nun. <laughs> And then the moose looking on. And then the moose. <laughs> I don't know. I'm I'm kind of disappointed we weren't doing a ridiculous item today because I could have I could have won again. Could have won again, and and I think I won the last one. You right? did. Uh, I well, actually no. I, the the belly dancers did get a couple of votes. Yeah, but I think I got more. But last time, I don't think I got any votes. Yeah. Uh, so well, know. the belly dancers were hilarious. Right, but they weren't ridiculous. They were. Hilarious, but not yeah. ridiculous. Yours was ridiculous. Yes. <laughs> How could you compete with that? Well, I don't know. You can't compete. Some with people that. thought yours was better. Only, I think, two. Well, doesn't matter. No, but everyone loved yours. Okay. And All some right. people even voted on both of them. That's true, yes. <laughs> they couldn't decide. They couldn't decide. They split so. the vote. Split the vote. Okay. Okay, so I guess we'll get started. I have mm. way more to show than you. So why don't you, I'll hold this while you begin the mass so we went to two places first we went to the goodwill 
and then we went to ARC. But I want to do, I only got two things at ARC, so I'm going to do those last. Yeah. Normally you don't get tons at ARC. No, I don't. Typically I don't. I don't either. All right, so now this was not part of the, the lady who donated her entire wardrobe. <laughs> this is something else. So this is a vintage Victoria's Secret robe. And this one, I looked it up. I looked at the little tag. This one is from 1999. That is old. Yeah, you can see that is the, the like code and like 99 is the year. So vintage, it also has the gold label, really pretty, pink and roses, just a really pretty robe. Not silk, I think the silks do better, but I paid $5.99 for this and I'll probably put it up for $29.99. <laughs> so it's a cute short robe, I like it. And then, okay, so this next thing I'm going to show you is part of the wardrobe of this mysterious woman. The hall donated. within the hall. <laughs> <laughs> so this late, oh, oh, it's new with a tag. I didn't even know that. <laughs> Holy camoly. Okay. It got even better. Yes. Okay, so this person donated a ton of anthropology clothing. Who else ho owns a, a ton of anthropology clothing? <laughs> Let's raise I hands. A, a few things. <laughs> Not like this, though. This is like, she, I, I think this person paid full price. I don't oh. always pay full price. No. I get stuff on sale. So, so this is a dress. And it's a larger size. So this woman was a like a 2X. This is a size 2X. And I think some of the stuff might have been 3X. But, I, but this one's a 2X. Look how cute this is. I can't even get it all the way in the frame. Really pretty. It might be linen, maybe? I'm not sure. But look, I just discovered it's new with tag and the original price. What is it? $228. $228. And I paid... $8.99. So, so I got this dress. How exciting. New with tag. <laughs> I didn't even realize it when I... It's like we're shopping again. Yeah, it's lined. It's a, like heavy, embroidered, just gorgeous. What do you think I'll get for this? At least 100 I didn't look up. I didn't check to see if there were others. $29.99? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm going to put it for more than $29.99 for sure. So, so 30 yeah. So now, should I just keep going? Keep going. Because I have so much you have... compared to you. So I'm pretty sure this is from the same woman. I don't know the brand, though. And it's, well, what is it called? Forever That Girl. It's a size 3X. It's brand new, which is why I picked it up. Oh, it's Anthropology. <sighs> Holy camoly, I didn't know that. This one was $120 new. Anthropology. I see, I knew just by looking at it, I was like, oh, how did I not see that tag? I guess I just saw this brown right. one. I paid $5.99. So really, this woman, I'm pretty sure, had a shopping addiction. Probably. And just bought stuff. Never wore and it. Never wore it. And then someday she got over her Isn't addiction that pretty? and decided just to donate everything. Oh my gosh. I wonder what other ones sell tags. <laughs> this That's one's hilarious. full of hundred dollar bills. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, why don't you do something? Since okay. I'm dominating this. Well, I'm just gonna keep this surprise party going because I went to the Goodwill and I'm gonna show you this footage.
<laughs> so here's the first one. Remember, I'm telling you this, this Magnolite stuff, I'm just killing it on this stuff. So I go to the Goodwill and there's two of them sitting on the shelf. <laughs> it's funny because I was looking at clothing and I look up and I see there's Derek with two of these things. I was like, because <laughs> I was, I was, because I don't have the cart with me. Yeah, I keep the cart. So and he I'm comes like, to the cart with his stuff. Well, what if there's like five of these? I couldn't be able to, someone else yeah. would get them. Uh, so this is, I believe this is the exact same one that I just sold last week for one. 75 someone offered me uh about the same shape uh and this is a magnolite sydney ohio and i paid 14 dollars for it 13.99 and then sitting beside it was this round one. Oh, there's some stuff in there too i forgot stuff for us no oh oh you bought those to resell yeah oh we got those who makes those well we'll get to that okay uh <laughs> this is another magnolite but this is a newer one uh, it's not Sydney, Ohio marked. It's just marked USA. So I don't know. I've never found a newer one. And then it's uh, GHC, uh, which is a company which I think purchased them and continued the Magnolite system. And this is more of a Dutch, uh, probably an eight quarter or something like that. Uh, but this is their version. Because uh, we have similar ones like this, like the Le Croisette in, in cast iron that I use for bread. But this would be their version in their Magnolite. Uh, and I don't know what this one's going to bring. Uh, I, I assume it's less because it's not the vintage e one. But uh, two of these things. I was really happy with that. We had a really good day that it was day. A, yeah, that, that was a... <laughs> Fridays are always the best at the Goodwill because they're putting out the stuff for the weekend. Okay, now I'm going to search for a new... No, this one doesn't have... It's not new with tag. Oh. <laughs> okay, so this... This is another anthropology. Let me show you. It's actually, it's, it's, it says anthropology. It's a size 3X, and it's a blouse. Just a real pretty, I mean, all really nice stuff. These, like, she balloon. Had good taste. Yes, very good taste. This balloon-style sleeve. Oh, wait, here. It's got the little, uh, what do you call that? Smocking, like smocking on the cuffs, just real pretty. Real pretty pattern, a floral, nice little collar on it. Just really cute. And it was, I'm sure, $5.99. Let's see, yes, $5.99. $5.99. Is what I paid. $29.99? I don't know. I think I might try. $39.99? I don't know, I have to look it up. It's a bigger size, so it, it should bring more. Okay. And then, okay, so this is not from her. This is just a, it's a cashmere blend Sundance sweater. I loved how the sleeves look. Kind of like a puff sleeve with some, um, what do you call that? I can't think of what it is. Uh, pleats. Yeah, pleating, some pleating. Thank you. V-neck, nice blue color. And this was probably five, no four ninety nine, and it's a large, so it's a bigger size. So we got that, uh -huh. and then some cashmere. So I got quite a few cashmere things this time. So this is a Banana Republic, one hundred percent cashmere sweater, uh, like a cowl neck, I think, not quite turtleneck, a little bit bigger. Just a nice, like, form fitting dress in a nice tan color, and it's you know 100% cashmere, which should do well. And it was $9.99, a bit more, yeah, a bit more expensive. But it is did cashmere. I say it was Banana Republic? I believe you did, yeah. And then, wait, there's one more. more, one more before you do yours again. Oh, that's fine, another cashmere. I think this is 100% cashmere. I'm not sure. Looks like maybe the little label is missing. Does well, it just says Italian cashmere. Well, if it says Italian cashmere. But yeah. I don't know if it's a blend or if it's. Well, this is J. Crew. And it says Italian cashmere. I think it's probably 100% cashmere. But a nice tan, mm -hmm. simple. 
sweater, and it was $5.99. Excellent. All right. See, I could put $29.99 on that, and I should get that. Oh, for sure. Uh, so I'll just show, well, first I'll show you, because everyone's, I'm sure everyone at home is wondering what was in that pan. <laughs> yeah. uh, what was in the pan is a set of measuring spoons and measuring cups, both from Allclad. And this is a complete set of spoons uh, and measuring things. These were $1.79, and the cups were $1.79. And I think... What did they go for? I looked them up when I was at the store, and I think they go for like 40 for the set. So it's kind of a no-brainer to get yeah. it because that's a brand name. Right. I mean, it's not just... China. Although we could probably use those spoons, but we, but we we can sell. Them. We have multiples. I know, but it's <laughs> we have we have all this stuff already. Oh, Nora's here. Oh yeah, we were visited by the Nora. Yeah, she didn't make an appearance last video. <laughs> no, she didn't. She was she was on tour. Uh, so, <laughs> but she's back from tour now. Uh, should you I show another it. thing, or do you want to well, keep going? Well, how many things do you have left? Just I like don't... three. Uh, yeah, because that's all my stuff in there, also. Oh, then yeah, I have right, here, three items. So we're back to, nope, this is not that woman, but it's anthropology, and it is pill crow. It's a size small, and it's just a nice, really nice sweater, probably a wool blend. It has a, sure. kind of almost a 70s vibe to it. Acrylic, no, it's acrylic and nylon. But, hey, this will fit me. But I'm gonna sell it. At least. Oh, what did I pay? Five ninety nine. Five ninety nine. And this. Oh, there was just someone who said. I think it was Tina said in our last video that she's really into the velvet or the velour. The velvet, I think she said, or velour. This type of. Remember? Mm -hmm. In familiar. the comments. Um, I found another one. This is Eileen Fisher, just a green dress. And this is a size medium, Eileen Fisher. And I paid $4.99, really good price. Real pretty, that should do well. Mm -hmm. At least $29.99. At least. And now we're back to the the lady who the hall of the us. hall <laughs> so this is anthropology this is pill crow really pretty sweater size 3x yes 3x and it's just a super cute does it say something on the back oh, oh. it kind of does what does it say looks like it's just a looks like a's with little oh you know what spaces. it's anthropology oh that's, that's a it for anthropology I bet it is. It's on the front, too, uh, in reverse. Yeah. And the orange. Or the yellow. Where? Oh, yeah, down here. It's all over the place, actually. Down here in the orange. I never even noticed that. But I like these, like, ruffle sleeves. And all of this, all of her stuff looks like it was, like, well, it was either new, worn once, or not worn at all. Yeah, just had the tags cut off. Yeah. So, oh, and I paid. $5.99. $5.99. And let's see. Whew. It's exhausting showing everything. <laughs> That's why it was exhausting when, yeah, we, were, we, when were, we were shopping. We, we were, were out, spent. We were out late. So this is a good brand to pick up. This is called Peruvian Connection. And this one is a size large. And I don't think I could find what the fabric was. I was looking. Oh, here. Let's see. Pima cotton. 100% Pima cotton in this purple color. So Peruvian Connection does well. It has always, it always did well for me in the past. I think it probably is an open style sweater. It should do well. And I pay $5.99. And finally, in this box, in we this do box, have another box. She has a whole other box. <laughs> we spent, what was our total? $160. It was something $160, crazy. I think. So then this one, this is a Anthropology Moth. Remember Moth? You were laughing mm -hmm. about that brand. Another Moth sweater. Sweater, size large. 
just, uh, I don't know. Not as cool as the others, but. Oh, oh what did I pay? Five ninety nine. Yeah, but it's a nice thick kind of a turtleneck style, and very warm sweater. All right, so that's that box. You do something of yours. Okay. Well, let's keep the sweater theme rolling. Uh, I only got a couple vintage items besides those pots. Uh, this is uh, from a brand called Full Fashion, and it's seventy percent wool and 25% uh, Dacron polyester. This is a vintage 60s men's sweater. As you can see, it's just that classic, uh, I mean, you could see. Didn't you say Kurt Cobain? A Kurt Cobain It's Kurt Cobain-ish, but his was a cardigan. Uh, oh, but, right, right. And he got his at the thrift store too, actually. Did he? All the grunge stuff was, that was kind of the start of mainstream people going to the thrift store because they saw all these grunge people. That's true, because even we, you know, in college, in the 90s. Uh -huh. It was in the 90s that Derek people... took me to my very first thrift store. Did I? I had, <laughs> yes, I never went to thrift stores, and he took me. And I've been going since I was... I think I told everybody, it was like, when I was a little tiny kid, my grandmother would take me to... She'd always go to, like, church sales and estate sales. She, she loved that. And her whole house was full of every... This fabulous stuff, but like everything. And they were wealthy, but she still. Yeah, went. but everything had like a little chip in it because she got oh, yeah. it at the thrift store. <laughs> uh, but she would have like the highest end this or that, but it would have a little spot or this or that. And she would take me to the thrift store and she just send me off to the toy section and give me a dollar. <laughs> and I would come back with, you know, this was back in the 70s, so I would have, a, you know, a handful of toys. That must uh, have been amazing. Oh, yeah. As it a just, little kid. Oh, I wish, I really wish. I could go back to the thrift store, back to the 1970 thrift store, and imagine what you would find there. It'd just be insane. Uh, so this is the uh, other item. This is a Puritan brand sweater. I found this. Yes, you found this. I found this in the women's department. But she gave it to me But I gave it to, to him because it reminded me of something else he recently sold. An ugly 80s sweater. Yes. <laughs> so it's just that classic uh, ugly 80s sweater. Uh, Totally would see this. It's probably from late 80s. $5.99, uh, and it's on this Puritan brand. I don't know what it'll bring. Maybe 30 bucks. Yeah, I think um, so. I looked it up. I actually looked it up, okay. and it was. I was thinking you could get anywhere between 30 and 50 oh, for and it. This one actually was more money. This was $9.99 for this vintage sweater, but it's a vintage sweater. And you got that at the Ark. I got that at the Ark, so if things do change price-wise yeah. there. All right. So, so you want to just throw me some stuff? Here. All right, so this is a another anthropology brand, but it is a it's not a big size. It's an extra small. So this is just a what brand is it? I don't remember. Daily Practice. So I didn't. Let me show you the label. Daily Practice. So when I saw this dress on the hanger, I thought, well, that looks like it just looks like something good. It just, you know, it just has, it looks like it's something good. And um, so then I looked it up. I looked up the brand name and I saw people were listing it on eBay with the brand name, also Anthropology. So apparently it's sold at Anthropology. And it was $5.99. Everything's $5.99. I know. So that should sell. And this is a new with tag. It's a Zara knit, Zara knit, size small, and it's just like a metallic, uh, like it has metallic in it. I don't know if, can you see the shimmer, maybe? But it's just like a long, open, cardigan sweater style. Yeah. I looked them up and they are doing pretty well. So it was eight ninety nine. So new with tag, I thought I'm oh, sure, why not? And then okay, this is our our friend. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of her things. So this is again, anthropology. And it's a three X, and it's just a real pretty kind of peasant. Peasant, man. yeah. Mm -hmm peasant style real pretty print i love it i wish it was my size i would totally wear this 
but it's not my size. Any hidden tags in it? No, I okay. looked. Five ninety nine. Very pretty. <laughs> this, this pile is like building. I know. You can't a, quite see it yet. There is a pile. There's my hands on top of it. <laughs> yeah. This is the end of the table. And then this is another anthropology brand. This is Sleeping on Snow. Just a nice, is that a cardigan? Yes, it's a cardigan. And I love the sleeves. Got How pretty. Sparkles. Isn't it pretty? Really pretty. Size large. Did I show you the label? Sleeping on Snow. And it was $6.99. $6.99. And then, is that it? That's it. <gasps> oh, that's it. I have one more item. Okay. Uh, this is the oh, last you oh, item. Oh, I do. I have my ARC stuff. Oh, you got your ARC stuff. So I'll do this. This was at the Goodwill. Again, I always hit the hats lately because I've been doing pretty well with the hats. And I found a hat by the brand. I, I didn't know this brand, but it's Phil, Phil You Hats. But it was made in Italy, handmade in Italy. Um, I don't know if it's really my style. Did you uh, say it's a woman's hat? I think it's, but it's a big size, so it fits me. So it's like a seven and three eighths size wise. It's, it's the label is large. It's just a large. Yeah, it's a large. That's women's it's, it's, if it says large. It's four ninety nine, and it's it's like a uh, it's an exposed fur hat. So it's a fur hat that isn't like smooth, but it's actually fuzzy. And when I saw it, it was out like that. So you can wear it up, or you can pop it down into a C-crown if you want to. Is and that what that's called, C-crown? Well, if you have the little clips right there, it oh, is. Okay. But, so you can wear it like that. So when I'm out pimping, I'm going to be, know, be like enjoying this hat. So uh, <laughs> I got that. That was Oh, did I tell you the price? Uh, that was uh, $4.99. And, oh, I didn't show you the tag. There's the tag. That's the tag. So, anyway, I looked them up, and they were, don't I, what did I tell you when I looked those up? 40? Yeah, it was way more than I thought it was going to be. Uh, so, we'll see how that goes. Okay, so I'm going to show you my hats I found. Um, now, I don't typically look at the hats, but I'm going to start looking at the hats, because this item, this other item I picked up, when I was looking up, what this item would go for, which you'll see soon. Um, I saw there were some hats in the similar fabric and pattern that were selling for $50. Hats are, because the, the hats are only like, $4 be the highest price yeah. for a hat. And if you can sell it for 30 So I started walking around the ARC thrift store, mm -hmm. looking at the hats, looking for, you know, the, right. the hat, this hat, and I came across this hat. So this is a Canada Goose. Some of you might recognize that. It's very popular on the East Coast, East Coast Canada Goose. It's a very high-end brand. I mean, when we're talking high-end, we're talking like the cheapest jacket they sell is 800 type of jacket. Yeah. People buy it just for the brand. And so I was like, well, when I saw the label, I was like, is that, is that what I think it is? I wasn't <laughs> yeah. positive. I was like. Normally so it's I, red. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Black and red mm -hmm. and white. But maybe on the hat they do a little special. So well, they have did they do have hats with the black and yeah. red. Um, but I looked up Canada Goose and I saw used ones were going for like forty, fifty dollars. Right, because they were probably two hundred dollars new. Yeah. So and it's real. It's nice. Is that wool? Well, I'm sure it's yeah, that's yeah. wool. And it's real thick. What's it say on the inside? Oh, it's double. It it's have... actually a double layered. Yeah. Uh, it's like it's two layers that are put together on the hat, so it's like a really warm hat. Yeah, so even the used ones were going for like forty or fifty. So and it was four ninety nine. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I won't try Here, it on. I'll actually put the hat on top of the <laughs> yeah, pile, you and you can it. see it there. <laughs> so I was kind of excited about this. So now I'm going to start looking at hats. You should. There. All right, and so my final thing, which I kind of was talking about already, is this. This is vintage. Gap, and it is a floral corduroy blazer, and it's from I think it was 2003 or 2004 when I looked it up, 
And well, no, you looked it up the other day. You didn't look it up in 2000. Oh, Here correct. <laughs> when I was at the thrift store, I looked it up. <laughs> Looked it up to see what year it was from. I think it actually has it on the tag. Usually they do. You can usually, uh, the major brands. Yeah, see here, fall 2004. Fall, fall, they'll put the, the, the season and then the year. See so. right here. In case you don't know, it says fall 04. Yeah. Because so. they make hats, so many clothes. Yeah, the hats in this pattern, like floral, like bucket hats, I think mm -hmm. they're bucket hats, go for a lot of money. I think I should get like... Twenty nine ninety nine for this. <laughs> so did I say what I paid for it? Uh, Five ninety nine. So yeah. So that is it. That That's is everything. It. That's a lot. It's exhausting. It Want took to twelve it? trips to get from the store back to the car. We actually had to take the cart out with yeah, we us. Did. We don't usually have to do that. We've never done that. And before. they gave us like two boxes to carry our stuff in. Yeah. So it's a lot of stuff. <laughs> it was a. It was a. Hall. And now it's going to take a couple days to take pictures and light up everything. <laughs> That's the hard part. Now I have to take the pictures. I, I still haven't listed anything since the last video. I did get pictures taken. I just haven't gotten them listed yet. So That's that's why I don't feel that bad about charging more than what I pay because it took so long to go there. Hours to find all this stuff. You have to go through everything. And if they even have it, then you have to bring it home. Then you have to take the pictures and you have to write up the things and then you have to post right. it. And There's then, a lot of work. Then you have in to it. ship it. There is. There is a lot of work in it. Yep. All right. But it's really fun. It is fun. It is. Especially if you well, sell stuff. Well, we wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't fun. No, because otherwise we we're out of closet space as it is. So. <laughs> and half that stuff won't even fit any of us. So. Oh, this stuff yeah. that we just bought? Yeah. Unless we layer up. Right. But it's cold, though. Yeah. All right. I think we're done. I think we're done. I think we've shown everything. You've seen everything. Um, you saw... So this video, we don't do a what's sold. We'll, we'll do that on Friday's video. Mm -hmm. So we did sell. We have sold things. We're just yeah. not going to. We'll be for the next video. Yeah, in the next video. So this is and kind of we'll a... probably have a ridiculous item in the next video. We probably will have Most a ridiculous likely. item. Most likely. Most likely. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. So please subscribe if you're not a subscriber to D&G Thrifts. Uh, I think you're going to like it because it's always going to be new stuff. Uh, and you're also going to see a bunch of older stuff, too, that keeps popping up. Uh, and check out our uh, – if you want to get any of the stuff you're seeing, check out uh, both of our eBay – places to go find that stuff so uh our ebay shops our ebay shops uh we probably should just get one big giant ebay shop we probably should but eh. but then you get a i don't know we could though mm. <laughs> i guess not <laughs> uh anything else no i think that's it okay Nora's asleep she's she's tuckered out too. yeah she's tuckered <laughs> otherwise I'd, I'd have her come in and say you know so yeah. you know it's the end. But you, yeah, you know it's the end because yeah. we're just rambling. 